When the United States gained control of the Philippines as a result of the Spanish-American War, many saw the possession of the islands as a gateway to large markets in mainland Asia. American products could be sold there, and many capitalists envisioned a new and untapped market for investors in large-scale railroad construction. At the dawn of the 20th century, American factories were producing more goods than the country could consume, and the continued growth of the American economy depended on exports to foreign markets. China had been weakened by war and enormous amounts of foreign intervention. Britain, France, Germany, Russia, and Japan had all established settlements along China's coast. These nations also managed sizable spheres of influence where each country maintained strict economic control. The U.S. government and American investors began to fear a future in which China would be carved into European colonies that were closed to American products and companies. With American interest in mind, the U.S. Secretary of State John Hay issued a series of policy statements that became known as the Open Door Notes. These were letters addressed to the leaders of the European powers, suggesting that nations share trading rights in China. This would create what Hay referred to as an open door. It would be in the best interest of all, he argued, if no one country held a monopoly on trade in any part of China. As foreign intervention in China continued to grow, so did the resentment of many Chinese. Although China had managed to maintain its independence, large sections of major cities were completely under foreign control. Resentment of foreigners continued to swell amongst the Chinese, and secret societies began to form, pledging to rid the country of what they referred to as foreign devils. The most famous of these groups would give the coming Chinese rebellion its name. This group became known as the Boxers because many of its members practiced martial arts. The Boxer Rebellion began with an attempt to expel all foreigners from China. The Boxers surrounded the European section of Peking and kept the area under siege for several months. Hundreds of missionaries and other foreigners were killed along with any Chinese who had converted to Christianity. Seeing American interests threatened in the area, the U.S. government prepared to respond. In August of 1900, the U.S. sent 2,500 soldiers to China to protect American citizens and interests. The soldiers fought alongside troops from Britain, France, Germany, and Japan to put down the rebellion. Within two months, the Boxer Rebellion was squelched. Thousands of Chinese died as a result of the fighting. After the conflict ended, John Hay issued a second series of open-door notes, stating that the U.S. would safeguard the principle of open trade in China for all nations. This action established the U.S. as a major player in post-Boxer Rebellion China, as well as a major player on the global stage. <laughs>